Two nurses were cleaning up the delivery room when they heard an unmistakable feeble noise, crying. They were shocked to discover the sound came from a baby they believed to be stillborn. But hey, before we dive into the story, do yourself a favor and pause the video right now. Go hit that like button and let's see if we can make this video reach 1000 likes. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to your favorite story channel. Also, make sure to ring the notification bell so you never miss out on the latest and weirdest stories. Trust us, you won't want to miss what's coming your way. Now sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed as we take you on an unforgettable ride. Don't forget to engage with us in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Without further ado, let's dive right in. In August of 1977, a 19-year-old college student walked into a hospital in Sioux City, Iowa, scared, confused, and unsure of her decision. Her mother, a nurse, had pushed her to terminate her pregnancy even though she was almost eight months along. Despite the healthy condition of the mother and fetus, the doctors performed a saline injection to end the baby's life, then waited five days for the stillborn baby to be delivered. The mother, overseeing the procedure, demanded that the baby's body be properly disposed of, but as the medical team cleaned up, they realized the baby was alive. The young woman, pressured by her mother, had reluctantly gone through the abortion procedure. Celine's solution was injected into her womb to end the baby's life, leaving the baby soaked in toxic fluid for five days. When she returned to the hospital, doctors induced labor, expecting to deliver a lifeless child. As her mother, the nurse, delivered the baby, she noticed that the newborn was clinging to life. Despite the initial plan, she demanded that the baby be left to die. However, the two nurses who heard the baby's cries refused to follow this order. They quickly rushed the baby girl to the hospital's neonatal intensive care unit. The baby, weighing less than three pounds and suffering from seizures, jaundice, and respiratory problems, had a tough road ahead. Doctors doubted she would lead a normal, healthy life and expected multiple lifelong disabilities. Her birth parents made an adoption plan just in case she survived. A pair of potential adoptive parents came to see her and, despite the grim prognosis, fell in love with her instantly. With their support, the baby, named Melissa Odin, began to improve. She eventually went home without any of the disabilities doctors had feared. Melissa grew up living a typical childhood, unaware of her past until she was 14. Learning about her attempted abortion devastated her, but she chose to take control of her life. Melissa penned a memoir about her survival and conducted research into her past, eventually finding and reaching out to her birth mother, who believed she had died. In 2016, Melissa arranged to meet her biological mother. The encounter was filled with acceptance and understanding, helping both of them heal from the past. Now a wife and mother, Melissa has built a supportive community through the Abortion Survivors Network. She shared her story to break the silence, stating, I may have had that abortion attempt performed on me in secret, but I was not meant to remain a secret. Melissa's journey from an almost aborted fetus to a thriving woman is a testament to survival and forgiveness, showing that even in the darkest moments, hope and resilience can prevail. 